Uh, oh, we're live as well on Facebook. Hello, everyone. Uh, if there's anyone there yet, probably not. Right, I'm going to get started um, uh, pretty much straight away. Uh, a bit of a disclaimer before we get started. So we're doing some quarter star. Uh, for the people on Facebook Live, just so you know, I've also got a Zoom um, uh, meeting going on at the same time where students are getting feedback from apprentices. Uh, if you would be interested in joining that on the Fight Right um, Facebook page, there is information on how to join that and that way the apprentices can give you feedback. Um, just in regards to... Uh, oh, Gwil is messaging asking what the number is. Uh, Phil? Yeah? Have you got your phone there? I do, yeah. Can you message Gwil and say it's on the, on the Fight Right Facebook page or send him the number? Um, yeah, so if you want to join on the Zoom, uh, go to the Facebook Fight Right page and the number to join the meeting is there. A uh, bit of a disclaimer for safety. I don't know what you're using. You might be using different things. Emily Evans is watching on Facebook. Hi, Emily. Uh, go to the Zoom account or go to the Fight Right Facebook page first and you'll have the uh, link number for the Zoom. And you can join on the Zoom if you want. Um, I'll send you a little wave. Here we go. Um, now, if you don't have a quarter staff, you can use the stick of a broom handle. Um, if you've only got something smaller, so here I've got a little uh, a screamer stick there as well. You can do the exercise with this, but if it's a very short, uh, if it's a very short stick, then um, you won't get the same uh, feel and flow that you would otherwise. Um, oh, uh, there we go. And um, also, just be aware of your surroundings. So, if there's two of you on the on the Zoom, I can see uh, we've got a nice uh, family affair going on with the quarter staff. Um, just make sure you don't hit each other. Be aware of ce uh, ceiling heights. Hi, Emily. How you doing? Hi, Martin. Um, be aware of ceiling heights. I was in my garage doing this uh, earlier and realised I had a fluorescent light above me and very nearly. Hi, Will. Very nearly uh, knocked out a fluorescent, fluorescent, can't speak, fluorescent light. If you're lucky enough, oh, who's that? Oh, that's Phil back again. If you're lucky enough to have a garden like I do, go into your garden, you have a lot more space. Um, so last time I did a Facebook Live of this, I played some music during the warm up um, and then I got a little note from Facebook telling me I've broken Facebook rules by playing music and that's against copyright, Urgh, Facebook. So there's no music today, you just get the beautiful sound of my voice, you lucky people, you. So, uh, we're gonna start off, uh, just gonna get my timing going with a little bit of a warm up. Um, so, we're gonna start off with um, just rowing. So, grab your staff, palms facing down, 30 seconds, we're just gonna row. So, just rowing, use your body, so you're twisting your body at the same time. Nice wide stance, keep your balance. Just keep going, 15 seconds to go. Nice light warm up, this just gets the blood, the, the blood pump in. Will, it looks like you're in a, oh no, you're in a room, sorry. From this distance, it looked like you're in a corridor. I was thinking, how are you doing this? Nearly there, two seconds, one, fantastic, change. Palm is up, this time we're going in the opposite. Reverse row, reverse rowing. Again, twisting your body. I hope you can all hear me okay, I'm quite far away from the camera. Whew. Keep going, can't be out of breath already, and come on, you haven't been doing a minute yet. Just keep reverse rowing, reverse row. Jill, I seem to have lost you, I hope you're there, and you're doing okay, keep going. Two seconds, one, okay, we're going to a warrior pose. So nice wide stance, palm down, staff over your shoulders, turn to the side, you're just gonna lunge in, and we're gonna hold that for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Now lower the tip to your toes. Look up at the staff, try and keep your balance. I've realized I can't see my stopwatch from here, so I'm gonna turn away. Two, one, coming up. Change your feet, so on your left. Nice lunge to start with. Holding that for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Lower the tip down to your toes, looking up. So you're looking up towards your right hand. If your left foot's forward, I'm just looking down at the timer. 
five, four, three, two, one. Coming up. Okay, hands, um, putting the staff in the lower back, hands facing forward. Nice wide stance. You're going to kind of like a horse stance here, not a true one. And we're just going to twist from left to right. And 30 seconds, left to right. Keep going. We're just limbering up, limbering up. Oh, I really feel sometimes that I talk way too much. 15 seconds, keep going, just feel that push, feel that twist. I can see my little girls watching me from up in the window. Hello, Hannah, hello, Emily. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic, okay. Gonna bring the staff again over to your shoulders. We're now going to do um, standing crunches. So I'm going to lift one knee. So I'm lifting my left knee, bringing the staff towards it, then the right knee. 30 seconds, go. In your own time, it doesn't have to be fast. Just feel that stretch. Keep going. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Bring the staff over. You're going to hold the staff out now. Put your left foot forward. Okay, staff's out about waist height. If you're really flexible, you can leave it higher if you want. Or if you're not overly flexible, you can bring it low. The idea is we're going to swing our back foot until our thigh hits the staff. I mean, let's just keep doing that for 30 seconds. Off we go. Same leg. So I've got my left foot forward. And I'm kicking. Just a straight leg kick. Nothing overly technical about this. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Change your leg. Same thing on your opposite. So my right foot is forward and I'm now kicking with my left. Oh. How are you all feeling? All good? All good. People on Zoom are saying yes. Can't quite read the writing on Facebook. I hope that's a yes as well. Whew. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Nice, okay. Start with palms facing up. It's a wrist and forearm stretch. So I'm going to bring my arms in, curling it. So I'm turning my wrist. I'm not here. I'm pulling them in. As it comes down, I'm going to push my wrists down into my stomach and I'm going to bend. Then I'm going to curl, twist, back, bend. 30 seconds. Here we go. Curling up. Again, this one doesn't need to be fast. Just feel that stretch in your wrists and in your forearms. Keep going. My phone has gone to uh, black. Wait me a second. Keep going. Keep going. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Palms down. Now, depending how wide you make this or how narrow the easier or the harder it will be. Palms facing down. I want you to raise your arms so they're coming up and over, then back to your belly again, okay? So you can have them narrow. The more narrow they are, I can't do that. The more narrow they are, the harder it is. Okay, so 30 seconds. Oh, my phone has gone to sleep again. Oh, feels like me. Right, 30 seconds, just nice and slow, coming over. Hello, Hello Emily, you're watching me from the window. Hello. It's my little two-year-old. Get going. Oh, if anyone's on my own personal Facebook, my little three-year-old sang to my two-year-old today and I posted it there and it's a lovely little message, which I think is really good for everyone just to listen to and think about. So if you haven't already, please have a listen to that video. Listen to my three-year-old. She's beautiful and she's just consoling her little sister who's a little bit sad at the minute she doesn't understand why she can't see her family or her friends or anything like that. Okay, now arms out in front. 
This time I'm gonna leave my left hand where it is and I'm just gonna rotate my right up and over. Okay, keep going, 30 seconds again. This is a lovely stretch, my, uh, my old PT coach, Johnny, which I know a few of you know, taught me this. This is lovely for opening up the shoulders. Keep going, keep going. Let's do a couple more of these because my stopwatch on my phone is completely gone now. I cannot see it. Let's do three more. Three, two, ah, feel that stretch. And one, lovely. And on the opposite, so keep the right arm out and it's the left one going back. That's it, oh, feel that opening out, very nice. Just a reminder, anyone watching on Facebook, we've got some lovely APC apprentices on Zoom that are here not only to join in, but to also give instruction whilst we're doing this. So if anyone wants to go onto Zoom and actually join in a class where you'll get feedback, uh, the details for the meeting is on the fight right. Please feel free to come back next week. Let's do three more if you haven't, or if you haven't downloaded Zoom yet, and join in next week. One more after this. Woo. There we go. Just going to finish. I don't need to see this. Place the staff on the floor. Now, please be careful when doing this. If you land on the staff, it's round, you're going to fall over. What we're going to do is we're simply going to do 30 jumps. Jumping over the staff and back again. Okay, we ready? Go. Keep going. In fact, I said 30 jumps. We're not going to do 30 jumps. We're going to do roughly 30 seconds. I don't have my stopwatch. So it's what I deem is 30 seconds. Let's say we've done about 10. Oh, get that blood pumping. Energized, feeling good. It's not just about stage combat. It's about getting out, getting a bit of fresh air, getting a bit of exercise. Oh, nearly went then. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Okay, guys, grab some water. Shake it out, and we're gonna look at some technique in just a second. Woo. I'm just gonna have a quick look on Facebook. Hi, John, you're watching. Elena, hello, how you doing? Oh, you just did a cardio exercise, and you're dead. Join in, it's technique, it's fun. Chris Meal is watching. Hi, bro, how you doing? Oh. Clark Chambers, Harry Edmonds, Michael Stewart, Shona, hello, loads of you. Why are you just watching? Go on to Zoom, join in the class. Right, okay, so we're gonna spend about four minutes on each technique. So we're slowing it down a bit now. And uh, we're gonna go through the six main staff spins. Some of you may know this already. These are very good for practicing. These are very good for helping with um, dexterity, helping with momentum, with flow to the fight. Reality wise, spinning in a fight isn't going to do you much help because whilst you're spinning and showing off, as Harrison Ford did in uh, Indiana Jones, someone's probably going to pull a gun out and shoot you. No point showing off when you're in a fight, you just want to get in there, get it over with, okay? However, for stage combat, it's all about showing off a little bit. Let's face it, we're all actors. It's about making something look good, making something look exciting. For practice, it's good, like I say, for dexterity, it's good for getting your body moving, it's getting good for coordination as well. So, we're gonna start off with the basic spin. This is thumb led. First of all, here's your staff. Like I say, if you don't have a full staff, doesn't matter. Even if you've got something small like this, even a wooden spoon, doesn't matter, it'll help. Just remember, the smaller the stick, the less work you're gonna get from it. So this is about six foot long, this is a rat and staff. It's light. Um, which means it's good, but it's heavy enough to get the flow to the spin. You can use oak staff as well, but if you clonk yourself on the head with an oak staff, you know about it. It's bad enough with one of these. Oak is a nightmare. So, this is our rat and staff. Please be careful when doing this. This is a bit of a disclaimer. I don't want to be liable for any injuries. Do things slowly if you don't know and build up as and when you're ready. Right, okay, I'm going to get my stopwatch so I don't overrun ridiculously. I'm going to use it on my phone because my, uh, or my watch, sorry, because my phone is rubbish. Okay, so top of the staff, if you're holding it, the top of the staff is the part of the staff above the thumb. The bottom of the staff is on the small finger or the, the, the pinky finger. 
if it helps, some people put some colored tape at the top of the staff. It just helps you identify what you're doing because some of these spins can get a little bit confusing. Okay, so what we're gonna do first of all for the basic spin, it's a thumb led spin. I'm gonna extend my arm so the staff is fully out. So I've got the top of my staff facing you. Now, to start off with, when we get more and more comfortable with this, we make it smaller and quicker. But for now, if you haven't done this before, extend the arm fully, nice wide stance. You can either be horse stance or you can have left foot forward, I don't really mind, okay? For this, I'm gonna keep my arm straight. The tip, of the, uh, the tip of the staff, the top of the staff, is gonna come across my body to the left side. I'm gonna turn my body with it. It's now gonna come up and notice the bottom end is following. It's a figure of eight on the side, otherwise known as an infinity symbol. And now I'm turning to my right, again leading with the top end of the staff. So it comes over, really reach. Make sure the top end comes all the way down, covers your ankle, then it comes up past your head. As it's passing your head, the bottom of the staff passes your ankle. And it's now coming across, okay? The more comfortable you're getting with this, the quicker you can get. So as it's coming across, keep your left hand out of the way. <laughs> I've, uh, I've suffered that before. So you're getting a nice flow to this movement. Doesn't have to be quick at this stage. As I always say, if you can't do it slow, don't do it quick. And I won't make the same joke that I did to the apprentices earlier, because we're live. Okay, here we go. So it's coming up and over. Now, if you're comfortable with that, we can just start to make it slightly smaller. So now my elbow is into my waist and the movement is kind of happening just from the wrist. Okay, so it's coming round and round. If you have any questions, feel free to ask the apprentices if you're on Zoom. If you're on Facebook and you want to ask questions, you can post it. I won't get back to you until afterwards, unfortunately, because as you can see, I'm doing a class. Um, or you can sign up to Zoom, join the class on Zoom and the apprentices are there to help. If you're new to this and you haven't got Zoom, then download it, sign up, join in next week and you'll get the apprentices help. It's valued instruction. These are top quality apprentices. They know what they're doing. Okay, so everyone happy with that? Notice that the flow's just going. We're not interrupting. As the stick comes up, make sure you don't hit yourself in the head. I've done that a few times, which probably explains a few things as well. Okay, so we're just going nice and slow with the flow. Everyone happy? Give me a thumbs up on Facebook if you're happy. I'll probably just be able to see a thumbs up if I look carefully. You know what you're doing. Okay, let's just do a time check because then we're going to do 30 seconds of continuous. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, good, perfect. We've got 40 seconds on the clock. So, nice and quick now. In your own time, whatever you're comfortable with. Doesn't matter whether it's fast, doesn't matter whether it's slow. Doesn't matter whether you're doing the nice big one. Doesn't matter if you're doing it small. 30 seconds, continuous. Okay, keep going guys, you're doing well. That's it, 30 seconds. Twist your body as well. There's a twist in the body, it works your core. You should feel this in your forearm. Your forearm should be burning. Nice work guys, keep going. I reckon there's about 15 seconds left. My wrist will start to vibrate. <laughs> I imagine, I think, when the 30 seconds is up, I'm slowing down. I can really feel this burning. Oh, and there we go. Okay, stop the spin. Well done, everybody. You think you've got it, but now we're putting it in our left hand. I'm not going to talk as much this time because you should know roughly what it is you're doing. But again, left hand in front. Here we are, left arms in front. This time I'm going to the opposite side first. So my left arm's in front, so to cross my body, I'm going to my right. Comes up. Again, I'm leading with the top end of the staff. So it's the thumb side of the staff. Get comfortable with that movement, nice and big. It's fine if you're not ready to go small with it yet. Nice and big. There we go. If you're comfortable, again, you can bring your elbow in and the movement comes more from the wrist. Nice, good, good, good. Just get comfortable with that movement. Once you're happy, I'm not gonna do it this side as long. Okay, just keep going whilst I set my watch. Keep going, we're gonna do 30 seconds on the left. Once I get my timer set. 
And here we go. Whatever you're comfortable with. So as fast or as slow as you want. This is your left hand, which is possibly your weak hand. So just be careful. This is where you may clobber yourself on the head. We don't want any accidents. So whatever you're comfortable with. Left hand spin. If you're indoors, make sure you're not underneath the light. Especially if you're going high. If you're doing the straight arm one, be careful of ceilings. Unless you're living in a mansion. <laughs> okay, well done guys. That is our 30 seconds. Now we're going on to the number one spin. This is... Oops, trying to stop the timer. This is the skip and catch. So, what we're going to do, arm out in front, we're holding the staff pretty much in the middle. Don't need to get a tape measure, as long as it's roughly there. My left hand goes over the top. So remember, the thumb side of my staff is the top end. The pinky finger side is the tail end. It doesn't matter if I turn my staff here, that is still the top end, because that's my thumb side. So don't get confused when I'm talking about top end and it's on the lower side, okay? So we're here, we're gonna turn the staff in a clockwise position. So it's turning round clockwise here, okay? Left hand is on top. The top end, I'm gonna curl my fingers in. The top end misses my fingers. I then lay my fingers out and I allow the staff to roll onto my right hand. As Soon as I've done that, put the palm of my right hand down. Now, the bottom end, the tail end of my staff, which is in my left hand, passes. So I skip and then I roll it in and catch. And as soon as I do that, my left hand faces the top. I'll come in a little bit closer so you might be able to see better. So, right hand, palm down, left hand, palm up. The top end passes, so I skip, I lay it out, and I catch, right hand down. I skip, I catch, left hand up. I skip, I catch, right hand down. Skip, catch, skip, catch, skip, catch, skip, catch. I'm trying to turn here, oh, that's not easy. Skip, catch, skip, catch, skip, catch, skip, catch. Okay, so I'll turn around again. Hopefully you can see this. Now, what a lot of people tend to do with this technique is they just end up passing it from hand to hand. That isn't the technique. You're not going to get any speed from this. Okay, so make sure out in front, left hand on top. We skip it, we catch it. We skip it, we catch it. We skip it, we catch it, we skip it, we catch. We skip, we catch, skip catch skip catch and then as and when you're ready you can speed it up okay keep going for a second <laughs> duncan nice to see you mate this is the way up very proud of you duncan stacy bt oh, missing class joining stacy brilliant nice stuff okay are we good with that guys let's do 30 seconds so again if you need to do it slow, that is fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, 30 seconds. Here we go. Spin. Spin. So skip it, catch it. Skip it, catch it. Skip it, catch it. Keep going as fast as you can. So once you've got these techniques down, and I'll try and make some little um, YouTube videos explaining each technique, um, if you're not sure. Once you've got these techniques and you're happy with them, doing this just for 30 seconds so do your basic for 30 seconds on each hand do your number one spin which is this one for 30 seconds in each direction there we go that's our 30 seconds it's not long okay so now we're going to do it the opposite way this is what really fries your brain gets to me all the time so left hand down my little girl still watching hello emily okay left hand is down right hand on the top so now we're going to spin the staff anti-clockwise okay so as you go anti-clockwise we skip it, so we don't catch it, then we pick it up. We skip it, we pick it up. So exactly the same technique, just going in an anti-clockwise direction. There we go, good. We all got that. Now be careful that you keep your hands in the central position as much as you can. Otherwise, as you're spinning, you'll start to move down the staff and suddenly you're doing this weird <laughs> movement, which is not easy at all, okay? So, let's start that again. Uh, ooh, what am I doing? Left hand. No, what am I doing? Got what I'm started. Here we go. Left hand down, right hand on top. Ooh, palm facing down, right hand, palm facing up. We start the spin, we skip it, 
we catch it. We skip it, we catch it, skip it, catch it, skip it, catch it, skip it, catch it, skip it, catch it. Good. Right, we good with this? I think we can do 30 seconds on that. So let's reset the timer. Here we go. Left hand, palm down. Right hand, palm up. 30 seconds. Your own speed, whatever you're comfortable with. Whatever you're comfortable with. You okay there, Emily? <laughs> Good. So, ooh, we've gone wrong already. Here we go. Keep it going. This is nasty doing it on your left hand or doing it on your weaker hand, whichever your weaker hand is. It's really hard. I'll come forward so you can see me doing it a little bit. Here we go. Lovely stuff. Keep it going. And that's your time. Well done, everybody. Number two spin. Nice, easy one, this. He says, it's like our basic spin, except for this time we're leading with our pinky. So the basic spin was with our thumb. We're following the thumb around in this figure of eight. This time we're going to lead with the pinky finger. So extend the staff out in front. You're going to turn the staff so it's horizontal with your palm facing up. You're going to take the tail end up into the figure of eight and down. So where before we went down and up, this time we're going up and down. And again, we're doing this infinity sign. Now it's important that you're twisting your body and the two circles that infinity sign are to either side of you. If you try and do it in front, it doesn't work. It will be really awkward and hard on your wrist. And again, you won't get that flow. So you'll turn it, sorry, I'm doing the basic there. So we've got to turn it, if you're doing it there we go, that's really weird, it looks weird as well. So you've got to turn your body, so you're taking the tail end up, and the top end follows. Tail end up, top end follows. And it goes round, and it's a continuous. Anyone else's arms burning? Mine are burning. Yeah. Good, nice. A bit of burning doesn't hurt anyone. I'm doing a challenge at the minute where I have to do, start off with like six press-ups a day, but then every day you increase it by two. So at the minute I'm doing all right, but give it a week and I think I might start to, to crumble. Okay, so again, we're moving the body. So again, by twisting this body, we're working our core muscles as well as our arm. Like with the one before, if you're not comfortable, you can make it big and slow so you can have your arm nice and straight. The more comfortable you get, you bring your elbow in and the movement comes from the wrist. Okay, good. Everyone happy with that? Marina, I can hear you talking on Zoom. You all good? Yes, but we've got the hard ones. Uh, Marina's working with those. That is going to make your forearm muscles bulge. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay, 30 seconds. Here we go. Start from front, as quick or as slow, whatever you feel comfortable with. Just twisting your body. It's a nice little workout without feeling like a workout. You're just playing with a stick. Yeah, this is great. It works your arms, it works your core, it works your coordination, gets you focused. Do this at the beginning of every day. It's really great. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Oh, keep going. And that's your 30 seconds. Nice, okay. Left hand. So, this time, I'm going to turn, palm is facing up. Tail end. This is my tail end. It's coming up, same as before. Sorry, my timer keeps vibrating. Here we go. Tail end comes up and down. Up and down. The top end of the staff is following the tail end as we're coming up and down. Up and down. Up and down, here we go. And the more comfortable you get, just bring your elbow in and it's from the wrist. Now I tend to do this with my hand kind of up to my chest. It just stops the hand getting hit. If you take your hand out to the side, at some point it's gonna get hit. You don't want that. Hello, Hannah. Oh, I've got the family watching in the window. There we go. So, same technique, this time with the left hand. So, from here, we're gonna do our 30 seconds before we move on to the next one. Do you know what, every week I say this class is gonna be 30 minutes, never is. Palm up, 30 seconds, here we go. 30 seconds, nice. Woo, I can feel this. I don't know whether I wanna to speak too soon, but I haven't yet hit my head. <laughs> That's a good thing. I normally clobber it once or twice on these exercises. There we go. Woo, 
Must be nearly there, feeling it in the forearm. How you doing, Marina, with those oak staff? Are you wishing you bought Rattan? Okay, yes. there we go, that's our 30 seconds. Nice, right. Now, we're gonna do the number three spin. So to do the number three spin, we're actually gonna use two of the ones that we've done already. The number, uh, the number one and the number two, I think it is. Yes, number one and the number two, and we actually put a bit of basic in there as well. So we're just gonna start with the number one spin. So it's skip and miss, skip and miss. Okay, so this one is behind the back. This is the number three spin. When I get the staff, I'm gonna try and do this as slowly as possible. When I catch the staff in my right hand, okay, instead of passing it to my left, I'm gonna do a basic spin, I'm gonna do the open. So I'm leading with my top end and it's coming down as if I'm doing a standard eight. Now it's gonna come up, but instead of passing in front of my body, I'm gonna pass it behind. So it's coming behind here until the staff is vertical behind my back. So you can see it's vertical here. Once it's vertical behind my back, I'm gonna catch it with my left hand. So my left hand's underneath. Hope you can all see that. Now I'm gonna go into my number three. No, no, my number two spin, sorry, this is number three. So leading with my pinky, with the tail end, it comes up. Again, it goes behind to start with, and then I bring it up. And at this point, you can, if you want, catch it and just go back into your skip and miss. Back into your skip and miss. So this is quite hard. So it comes behind, through, catch it, keep it coming, coming up, catch it. And again, you can just keep it going round if you wish. There we are, coming up, catch it, coming round. It helps if you keep your body nice and loose and fluid. And then if you want to, you can go back to the skip and miss. So some people, when you're starting out, you're doing it nice and slowly just to help get it through or understand it. It's sometimes quite nice just to do one behind the back, get the movement and then go to your skip and your miss again. So it's coming round. Here we go, good. We're coming round, behind, up, here. Now it does feel a little bit awkward on the left. So as you notice, as it comes behind, this is all nice and fluid. As it comes to here, you then have to push down with that little finger to get that spin going in the right direction again. So it's coming up. Ooh, there we go, first hit. That was my, uh, that was my shin there. So <laughs> there we go, it happens to the best of us. There we go, so we're spinning round, through, behind, up. Round, behind, up. Round, behind, up. There we go. We all happy with that? No. <laughs> no, love it. So, don't worry if you can't get this. This is quite a complex one. It does take time. Just do it slow. Even if you're doing it nice and slowly, even if it's at this speed, eventually it will start to just go into your muscle memory and it will start to get there. So even if it's at this speed, we're gonna do our 30 seconds, even if it's nice and slow, and then we move on. Okay, so I'm gonna move away from the camera just in case I hit. I've also got loads of stuff on the floor here that I keep on walking into. So 30 seconds, everyone. Start off with your thing. Here we go. Start with the skip and miss. Let's just do a couple of those to get into it. And then behind the back. So comes behind, seconds? up, leading with the pinky, lead with the thumb, lead with the pinky, back. lead with the thumb, lead with the pinky, lead with the thumb, lead with the pinky. Don't grip the staff too tight either, right. if you're gripping the staff right. really tight. Lead with your pinky and come okay, that's our 30 seconds. Well done, everybody. Okay, um, I'm going to move on. If you want to practice that in your left hand, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to use time constraints as an excuse not to do it in my left. And it's purely time constraints. It's not because I find that hard. Trust me. Maybe. Right, okay. So now we're going to do uh, the dip and smack. So, start out in front. So we're holding it, palms down. I'm now going to take my left hand, so it's coming under my right armpit. Okay, so 
So we're here. What I'm going to do at this point, we're going to break it down into two halves. Okay, it's hard to do more than two halves, mathematically. Okay, so with my, um, with my tail end, so notice with my right hand forward, my little finger's pointing that way. So with my tail end, I'm going to do a little circle. So I'm doing a little half circle. Yeah, let's go back there. So we're here. We do a little half circle with the right hand side of the star. Once I get to the opposite side, I'm going to bring the left hand down. I'm coming back pretty much to a straight star and then I'm going to bring my right hand under my armpit. So I'm now on the opposite. So let's go back to the beginning. So right hand is in front, left hand under your right armpit. We draw a circle. We switch the blade of the star to underneath. Good. Make sure you're really pointing forward with this star. Don't have it out to the side, have it facing forward, okay? Nice strong horse stance, bending your legs here. We draw a circle and we switch to here. And feel that smack, feel it lock into that armpit, yeah? Now we're gonna do it on the opposite side. So my left arm is forward, I draw a half circle. I lower the right part and I bring the left under my arm. So we circle, snap, circle, snap, circle, snap, circle, snap. Once you're comfortable with this, once you've got that technique, and if you want to keep stopping on that point, that is fine, and then start again. But once you're comfortable, you don't have to lock it in until you're ready to stop the movement. So you have the circle, as it comes to here, you start your next circle, and you have a continuous yeah. movement here okay so we're coming round I'm not locking in when I want this movement to stop I lock the staff into that armpit okay palms down first position circle lock circle lock circle lock circle, lock. And now let's make it continuous. So circle, before it gets to the lock, start that next circle. Before it locks in, start that next circle, start that next circle. So before the lock in each time, you're starting the next circle. Good. And then we're gonna lock it in. Good, okay, let's do 30 seconds of that. Everyone okay? No. No? <laughs> Should I come in closer? What's that, sorry? My brain does not comprehend. <laughs> it's fine. Um, get, get your mum. Your mum's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> right, 30 seconds, guys. Nice and slow. Um, also, I should mention, if you're here on Zoom, so for those on Facebook that aren't on Zoom, download Zoom, go onto the Fight Right uh, Facebook page and get the Zoom link, and next time join us in an actual class. I've got four apprentices, I think. Is it four? One, two, three, four, four wonderful apprentices, all there, ready to help you. And at the minute, we don't have many other people there on Zoom. So next week, come on to Zoom, get the knowledge and the expertise of the APC apprentices. Um, and uh, uh, there was a point to this, and I've completely forgotten it. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, we're going to now do 30 seconds, continuous with the dip and smack. So, let's get the time set. Lock it in, and again, if you want to lock it each time, you can. If you want to do it slow, you can. You're going from left to right, right to left, left to right, right to left. And we just go, and we speed up to whatever you're comfortable with. Remember, if you're in a house with a ceiling and potentially lights above you, just be careful. Everyone on Zoom so far is safe, which is nice to see. And that's your 30 seconds finishing there. Last one. This is uh, spinning, uh, star spin number five. Okay, it's the number five spin. For this, we're going to have, if depending whether your left hand or right hand is, you can either have your left hand on top or your right hand on top. Doesn't really matter. Okay, whatever you're comfortable with. This is like our number two spin, so it's the pinky spin. But this time we're doing it with two hands, okay? One in front of the other. Just come a little bit closer so we can see. 
Okay, if I stand here, try not to stand on all my stuff on the floor. Okay, so what I'm doing here, like with the pinky spin, I'm leading with the fingers going up and down. I'm very close to the camera here, so I'm going to do this very slowly. Up and down, up and down. And notice I've got that spin coming as well with the body. I'm twisting the body. Try and make it more of the wrists than it is of the arms. Again, if you're a beginner at this and you want to use the arms, to get the shape and the flow, that is fine. So if you want to start, imagine you're playing golf. I've never played golf, but poof, whacking it there. Okay, so we're coming here, bringing it in smaller. Okay, so I'm going to come back so I don't hit the camera. Once more, we're here. So it's the pinky spin. It's actually a little bit easier with the two hands because you can push and pull to help yourself out. Again, I'm still twisting with the body here. Oh, that's what I was going to say earlier. If you are on Zoom, there is the capability to record. If you want to record, I'm very happy for you to do that. So if you want to record the class, I'm happy for you to do that. And you can recap. But like I say, as and when I can, I will try and put little breakdowns of these techniques onto YouTube so you've got that as well. So uh, let's do our 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here we go. And... So we're doing this one here. So hands down, I'm going to restart the stopwatch. I don't know who asked that. <laughs> Sorry, hang on a second. So fingers down, okay? This is the uh, the underhand spin, okay? The number five. So little fingers down, we're here, and we're leading with the little fingers, okay? 30 seconds. Let me start that stopwatch once more. All three, two, one. Okay, let's start that again. Here we go. 30 seconds, guys. Off we go. As quick. Oh, sounds like something's happened in the in Marina's garage. I'm not gonna ask. Keep it going. 30 seconds. We're nearly there, guys. It's the last one of the day. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, and there you go, that's your 30 seconds done. Nice ones. Okay, so very quick recap. Okay. The six spins. What what happened? What happened? He hit us all on the chocolates. <laughs> We've had our first hit. Brilliant. Okay, so just to recap, we've got our basic spin, which is a thumb led spin. If it helps, if you put your thumb along the blade just for now, you can help by following. If you're comfortable, bring your thumb round. Okay, so we've got our basic spin and we can switch it to our left hand. So once you've done your 30 seconds, try and do these without breaking if you can. Okay, once we're here, now we're going to go to our spin. Oh, I'm doing it on the left handed spin. That's interesting. So we're going to do the spin here. Okay, good. We're going into our skip and miss, skip and miss. Once we've got that, we can then come into um, our pinky leading one, which is what I'm doing here. So we're leading with the pinky. This is our number two spin. Leading with the pinky. When you're ready to switch over, just switch hands. Again, leading with the pinky. Good. Very nice. And then when you're happy and you're ready, you, whoa, going in the wrong direction now. We uh, turn it back and we go behind the back. We get used to this one, coming behind the back. You can either be continuous, or that was my shin again. Oh, my poor right shin. Going behind the back, or you can just stop and carry on spinning for a couple of times just to get you ready. Once we're here, we're then gonna stop it, and we're gonna lock it, and we're going to spin and smack. Spin and smack. And then when you're comfortable, you just continue that movement without the smack until you're ready and we lock it into here and then the underhand spin the number five spin double handed spinning round so they are your six basic spins love you to work on that now in a few days i'm going to set you all a challenge Ooh. i will explain that challenge in a few days so just make sure you like the fight right facebook page and any message that comes up, the challenge will be set and we'll see how you do. If you've got any questions, 
please feel free to message uh, or put a message on the Facebook. If you've liked this, please, please um, share this Facebook page. Um, uh, let others know about it. This happens every Wednesday at six o'clock. I say half an hour. It never is half an hour. It's 45 minutes today. Um, I haven't actually thought about what we're going to do next week. I might continue with staff for a couple of weeks. What do you reckon? Apprentices, what do you like? Knife. Knife. <laughs> knife. Knife. Okay. Apprentices say knife. Okay, I'll have a think. Uh, we may do knife next week because uh, my my uh, lovely apprentice, Emily, I nearly said number one, but then didn't want to offend <laughs> Phil because there's very big, there's very big competition here. Very big competition here. You know, Phil, if it was just you, I'd have called you my number one. Uh, no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but please feel free to join in um, again Facebook viewers please download zoom uh, the zoom number is on our Facebook page join in on zoom and you'll get the help oh sorry I just realized everyone on zoom is just watching my chin at the minute um, please uh, join in join in with the class uh, the more that join in the more feedback the more energy there is please share the Facebook if you don't want the feedback or if you don't want my apprentices to watch you whilst you train in then again, just watch it on Facebook Live and uh, you can join in there. But thank you very much. I'm going to say, first of all, goodbye to the Facebook viewers. Thank you very much. Like Fight Right on Facebook, share it around, and I'll see you next week.